Hello, Whitefish Bay Middle School. Hope this finds you well. This is going to be my last video update before spring break. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to having a little bit of time off and away to recharge the batteries and, and to regroup before that final sprint to the end of the school year. So uh, we've continued to phase kids in here. Uh, next week, we'll bring our eighth graders back, and then we'll be all back in. Um, and to think that it's been a year uh, since that, uh, since we shut down and then have, have brought everybody back, um, it, it's pretty exciting to see. I've been hearing from many of you about uh, if you're virtual and you're coming back in person, which is awesome. Just a reminder that the deadline for that is next week on Thursday, which I believe is March 18th. Uh, so please send me an email if you'd like to uh, come back in person. Um, you know, I... I, I it's been going pretty well so far to have kids back in. We're learning a lot. I think we're getting adjusted to uh, having more kids in the building, and, and it's frankly been great uh, for having kids back. Um, I think socially, emotionally, academically, having kids back in the building four days a week has been very, very positive. Um, at the same time, I do also want to make sure that we're thinking about that uh, – we want to keep it that way, right? We want to keep kids here. Um, and, and we just saw recently the impact of having a positive case uh, in school. And, and uh, the, there's more kids that are quarantined now because they're closer together. Um, so it just is a good reminder for us that this thing isn't over yet. We are still in the middle of this pandemic. And it's really important that we do everything within our power to really limit the, the uh, impact of, of a positive case and, and of quarantining. Um, we're going to continue to do everything we can here to make sure we're not quarantining lots of kids, but this is a whole community-wide effort. And so uh, let's not let our guard down yet. And as we approach spring break, I got to be honest with you, I'm just a tad bit worried. Uh, I look at what happened for us as a district after we came back from winter break and the number of positive cases that exploded uh, over the holidays because we had lots of kids gathering together. Um, I'm, I'm just concerned that we're going to be in that same boat come spring break and that we would come back and if we have positive cases in school, now we're quarantining lots and lots of kids. So what can we do about that? I mean, we're a broken record, right? We've been talking about this for a year. We're wearing our masks always and every opportunity we have when we're around other people uh, that are not in our immediate family. Uh, we are trying not to gather, in, especially indoors, in close spaces with lots of kids. Uh, you know, all it takes is, is one big gathering of kids inside uh, for, for a positive case of COVID to just spread real quickly through our community. Um, and then, you know, continuing that good hand hygiene practices that we're really reinforcing here at school. Um, so we want kids here. We want this to be successful. I know that it can be. Uh, we just all have to kind of chip in and make sure that we're, we're doing everything in our power uh, to limit the spread of, of, of COVID. Uh, even though our numbers are down and we're in a really good place, uh, we just don't want to see that reversed uh, because of our actions over spring break. So we appreciate your help in that uh, and uh, are really looking forward to a successful end of the school year. It's been great having warmer weather and being able to get kids outside more. Uh, so it, it, it has been a really positive uh, last couple weeks, and I know that April and May are going to be fantastic. So with that, again, I hope that you have an opportunity to recharge the batteries over spring break. I know I'm going to do that, uh, and I'm really looking forward to a, a positive and successful end to our school year. Thanks, everybody. Take care.